Hello, I'm Reza Rad from Radicad and I'm going to talk about top five misconceptions uh, and myth about Power BI. Let's check it out and see what they are. Uh, when you work with uh, a tool or product and it becomes, uh, it, it gets to a certain popularity level in the market, usually you hear rumors and um, and some misconceptions about it. Power BI is one of those as well. Um, there are a lot of misconceptions about Power BI, but I'm going to start from from a few that, uh, that um, I've faced a lot in my career and when I work with customers and all other users around the world. Uh, so let's check it out. The first one I uh, hear a lot about is Power BI is not an enterprise reporting tool. It's a self-service tool only. Uh, well, that is, of course, a misconception and it normally comes from not understanding uh, Power BI or not knowing Power BI very well. Uh, Power BI came with the promise of making self-service available for everyone with the Power BI desktop, which makes creating self-service reports really easily, some Power BI service functionalities to support that as well. But it's uh, it's an entire ecosystem of BI. Power BI is built on top of some of really uh, powerful um, data modeling and BI technologies. Analysis services, uh, Tabular, which is what Power BI is built on, has many years experience. And before that, analysis services start actually at year 2000. So it's over 20 years of uh, of uh, maturity level we are talking about when we are talking about the data modeling and the engine of Power BI for calculations, anything like that. Uh, the Power Query engine of Power BI uh, first came into, uh, into Excel in 2013. It has been matured a lot since then and the actual language used in that, M, is, um, has been used much, even, even before that in Microsoft for many years. Uh, and they are very powerful. Uh, they combine. They are combined also with some of the new uh, features, such as Dataflow, which gives you ability to create ETL online using uh, using Power BI, and and it's a full uh, a full ex uh, spectrum of all of these. Uh, technologies. Of course, Power BI can handle uh, a lot of like big data scenarios and you have the Power BI premium functionality, the Power BI service gives you uh, the architecture around it, the hosting environment where you can put your Power BI report in it, create workspaces, share among your organizations. It is built on top of OneDrive and Teams, which works with other Microsoft services and technology. So it, it, it's a whole system. Visualization is just part of it. Self-service is just part of it. Power BI comes with Power BI report server. It comes with integration with a lot of other services and tools that really makes this uh, enterprise reporting tool. I have a lot of customers, clients already using it in their enterprise environment. Now, sometimes you might create hybrid situations where you use uh, part of the technologies from Power BI, part of the technologies from other uh, tools or services, but in general, Power BI is an enterprise reporting tool. It can be used for self-service, but it is not for self-service only. Uh, the second misconception is that Power BI is uh, not suitable for big data sets. It's not for large data sets. It becomes a slow, performance would become a problem. That is also a misconception because uh, Power BI uh, works with the small data set, of course, really easily. It works with big data sets easily as well. But the way that you implement it needs to be... Uh, considered when you are working with a data set with 1000 rows it's different design than working with a data set with 1 trillion rows uh, because uh, again because of not knowing power bi very well a lot of users just use the same methods that they use for for a small data set for big data set they don't consider uh, modeling best practices they don't consider uh, performance tuning your model their model so that that becomes a slow that doesn't mean that power bi is a slow there are demos and I have written blog articles and videos about how you can have really fast views of uh, Power BI slicing and dicing over trillion rows of data or, or even more. And it is just like 
uh, very fast. Everything happens very fast. Of course, you need to consider a lot of design principles. You need to consider how to use direct query with composite mode, how to use aggregations, what are the best practices for performance tuning, a lot of consideration like that, but Power BI definitely can handle it. There is no such thing that Power BI uh, is slow or cannot work with big data sets. The third misconception is that Power BI is not rich in visualization. If we compare it, for example, with other you know, visualization tools, they can do much better job than Power BI. Well, if, uh, if we've been talking about this at the beginning of when Power BI came in, like 2015, maybe part of 2016, that might have been true that time, but nowadays it has enhanced a lot. Power BI itself has a great set of built-in visuals, um, some of the really advanced capabilities inside Power BI that helps us to have really good storytelling capabilities, bookmarks, and many other configurations inside Power BI, as well as Power BI enables um, third parties, other companies, uh, or, um, or people to go and create uh, custom visuals. And there are more than 200 custom visuals already uh, available. Some of them are paid, some of them are free, but the point is that uh, there are a lot of other visuals you can use. There are visuals such as Charticulator. This is a fantastic custom visual. It's a visual that with that you can build other visuals. And Layla has a full course and a lot of, of course, videos um, for free available in our YouTube channel that you can go and learn how to use Charticulator to create some fantastic visuals that you cannot achieve with other visuals. So there are a lot of other things around this visualization. It is not just those few charts that you see inside Power BI, custom visuals, Charticulator to build your own visuals. And of course, there are options to use R and Python, and each of those comes with some of the visuals so you can use those as well. So definitely misconception, Power BI is very rich in building visualization. The next misconception is that Power BI is only useful if you are using other Microsoft products, like if you are using Office, if you are using uh, Teams, if you are using OneDrive, you are, if you are using SQL Server database, uh, Microsoft CRM or anything like that. That is also a misconception. Power BI is is a tool that works for itself. It is built by Microsoft, but it doesn't mean that to use it, you need to have other Microsoft tools or services. I have customers, they are not even using Office 365 for their email system. They are using Gmail or anything like that. I have customers using um, Oracle, using SAP, using a lot of other technologies and Power BI is perhaps just like the only Microsoft technologies that they are using and it works really well. Um, it doesn't really um, matter which um, technology you are using. Power BI has more than 80 different types of data sources that can get data from. Um, it might be a text file, it might be Oracle database, it might be, uh, let's say, uh, an API. All of these are supported in Power BI. Even for those that are not supported, there are ODBC connectors, there are ways that you can bring that data into Power BI. So. Um, it doesn't matter where, uh, what technologies you are using, Power BI still most likely is able to help you in building your technologies and solutions. And uh, number five, um, a lot of people think that Power BI, learning Power BI is just like fast. You can just go into Power BI desktop, try a few things and learn it. Of course, go and learn from videos, YouTube, books, everything like that. Um, Starting to learn Power BI is fast, of course, because it's a visualization tool. It's an easy to use tool. That is actually the promise of this product. It makes everything much easier. You open Power BI Desktop, you, can, you kind of understand what to do and you can go and watch a couple of videos about it, blogs, read some books about it and, and start with it. But uh, there are some really advanced aspects of that, such as modeling principles, such as DAX. These are things that you need to spend time on it and learn about it continuously, enhance your understanding of it. Um, it's not something that you can learn in, let's say, a day, a week, or even a month. You have to spend time on it. You have to work on it continuously. Uh, you learn about it. It doesn't mean that if you haven't spent a month learning about Power BI, you can't go and build a Power BI dashboard. You can definitely build a dashboard, but to enhance it, to have a better perform, faster performing reports, to have a better quality of your report, to have major calculations and advanced calculations in it, you need to spend 
time. Uh, it's not something you can achieve in a day or a week. Um, other misconceptions? There are, of course, a lot of other misconceptions, and I'm sure uh, you are watching this video have already some of that in your mind. I, I would like to hear from you, so put your comments down in the below and let me know uh, what other misconceptions you've heard about Power BI. It was great to talk with you all. Enjoy the rest of your day.